this film I wanted to show you three more pens. I'm almost coming to the end of the pens I have now. Two of them are Watermans and one is a Schaefer. And this Waterman, fairly inexpensive, purchased from the pen shop, came with a ball pen as well. This has got the blue sort of marble finish, steel nib currently filled with a uh, Waterman ink cartridge rather than the conventional piston filling for use from an ink bottle. This is a black cartridge. Ink flow is quite good. medium nib. So there we have, that's one of the Watermans. The second Waterman is this one. It's got a black body and uh, gold trim. I actually have the matching uh, rollerball as well. And this I think is also currently filled with a ink cartridge, the Waterman ink cartridge there, they're quite long cartridges. Again it has a medium nib. Writes very well, but sometimes when it's not used enough, which is sometimes the problem with the number of pens I have, um, it does dry up and uh, it's not as good uh, to write with snap-on cap. And the final pen is a Schaefer. Uh, I can't remember the exact model. It has a black uh, barrel, uh, silver coloured cap with gold trim. And I actually have the ball pen and roller ball as well. This originally, um, fairly inexpensive, retailed a few years ago around £55 I think. Uh, it came with a medium nib which was very scratchy and I got uh, a replacement for the entire nib unit uh, from uh, a place by mail order um, and uh, the whole unit like that um, was replaced for about uh, £22 I think and I decided to have a broad nib it's currently filled with a Schaefer cartridge uh, in turquoise Just screw that back up, and for abroad, uh, this does write very well. It's got a good ink flow. And it's um, it's got a decent weight, quite comfortable to hold, and got a uh, contoured grip so it gives some grip you can hold on without slipping when using it for a long period of time so there we are that's a, a Schaefer pen uh, currently filled with uh, a cartridge